Hi, welcome to Catholic Nest. So um, today I wanted to share with you um, a new nature uh, curriculum that we're going to use, um, hopefully for this year. So um, it's a subscription. It's from a website called For the Love of Homeschooling. And I think it's quite new, just a few months old. Um, so I think it's a, an introductory price at the moment. So the topic for September is insects and we've just done um, a whole lot of stuff on insects so what I thought I would do is print the weather one and we'll do that in September and then I think it's trees for October and um, we're going to do that one as well so I've got it all ready to go um, and I'll give you a quick look inside. So it's set out as a four days a week this is the teacher's manual. So it's something you print at home. Um, so because of that, you could just pick and choose the bits that you think you would use. But I'll show you how it's laid out. So it gives you a 20-day outline at the beginning. Some recommended books. Um, we don't have any of the books on this picture, but we do have a lot of other weather books. So um, I'm not buying any especially. And I'll show you the ones we're using. <clears throat> so it has a prep guide for each of the four weeks. A note about the workbooks, so it says Little Explorers are age 3 to 5, Junior Explorer 6 to 8, Senior Explorer 9 to 11, Expert Explorer 12 plus. So we actually have one in each level um, and a two-year-old tagging along as well. So, so it's got uh, the day one schedule would look like this, you'd have a little warm-up. Um, which says, weather scavenger hunt, use your flashcards to begin learning about the weather cycle. And it has a daily reading, and then it tells you what each of the levels should be doing in their workbook that day, which pages and activities. And then there's a group activity. So, um, weather soup is the one I've cut out on cardstock. And I think it's to do with making different weathers. Um, so we've got those ready to do for that. So it just gives you a little uh, focus on weather every day. So you don't have everything in the teacher's manual that they have in their student workbooks, but you do know what they're doing and you have um, some of the experiments and things like that so you know what to gather. So you get the idea. It does also have, each unit has an art um, class that goes with it on the topic. If I find it, it gives you like a, uh, oops, I can't see it, sure I just had it. I think it must be one of the workbooks. But I was just really impressed with this um, curriculum and that it has so much creativity in it it goes everything from recipes to um a little experiments to cut and paste things for the younger ones it's just the depth that it goes into and the the creativity is is really lovely it's not just like your typical predictable unit study it's really gone beyond that the little explorers is the one my five-year-old will be using i have added a couple of bits from the junior in, which I probably didn't need to in retrospect, but so let's see if I can remember which one's there. So they all have a different cover, which is nice. So it has some sort of tracing and counting things, sorting weather elements, cutting and paste, lots of cut and paste. So cutting out things, making weather wheels and drawing cloud types, lots of that kind of thing. And what's really, really nice is in the last week they all have their own project each. Each book has a different project um, and they all work on their end project and then they all share it with each other at the end and they sort of suggest you have like a little... If it's, for example, if it's weather, a little weather themed party and make some of the weather recipes and do your final project. So her final project is a water cycle board 
and it gives her lots of things to cut out um, that she could present. So that's hers. Then the one my eight-year-old is doing, the junior. So a bit more to it. And weather wheels, water cycle, water cycle wheels. So my aim with this is hopefully to do it all together in the morning before before we uh, go off, branch off and do separate things. So the project for juniors is to make their own weather board game. So it gives them some tips on doing this. Some things to make into counters. Some bits of weather things to cut out and somewhere to write down the rules and then we'd play the game. So Senior Explorer, this is what my 10 year old will be doing. There's a bit of an overlap in what the older three workbooks do, but they're not identical. So looking at air pressures, global winds, make a barometer. I quite like that there's some sort of experimenty, crafty things because our science um, doesn't have as very much of that in it. It's quite nice to do some of that uh, in another topic. So lots of stuff there. And it's got sort of other things like this, like weather memories. I thought that was really nice. But their favourite memories are to do with the different weathers. So it has quite lots of bits of creative writing and things mixed in. And he's also got to make a, a board game as well. But his um, has more elements to it. They've given him cards and things and... Uh, tips to how to make it a bit more complex than the junior one. And last but not least is the Expert Explorer. It'll be my almost 12 year old doing this. They've also got the phonology wheel. So I thought it was nice because he's doing a bit of Latin anyway, but they get to look at root words in Greek or Latin and they're going to keep a log of that during the month and they'll come back and write down the different words in there. We've got the water cycle, air pressure, what makes wind, wind magic tricks. Um, I've got a script to write there, make a barometer, weather idioms, so we're looking at ones like uh, lightning doesn't strike twice, um, it's raining cats and dogs and different sort of weather related ones there. Four core types of clouds. Reading weather radar. Weather forecast. Light dispersion. <clears throat> Typography art. They're doing a bit of their own there. Turn a week. Oh, tornadoes, storm chaser resume, I have to write out there. And then the project for the eldest is a picture book. So they've got to plan their illustrations, some collage items, I've got some planner pages. Before and text planner before they go and put it all together and then present it. So I'm interested to see how we'll get on with those. So aside from the workbooks, it also has some other lovely resources. So I've printed these off on cards so not to have to laminate them. These lovely posters or um, sheets to use, lovely visual aids. 
um, there's a little weather banner. We're going to do a little notice board on weather uh, for September. You see that in the thumbnail. Got these little cards. Again, I've done on cardstock little information cards. Um, they also include games as well, which is lovely. And they give you, which I think was a really nice touch, they give you pretty pictures to put on the back of your memory cards or on the back of your bingo game. So this is a um, memory game with different weather on it. That kind of thing. There's also a bingo and some three-part cards, um, which I've not printed out. Just because we have our own weather game, I wanted to um, take the opportunity to use um, so you can just print what you want to use and then we've got our weather soup so I also went on to twinkle and printed off a couple of pictures to put on the notice board to make a little weather display and then we've got some books so I've been raiding our bookshelves for anything to do with weather and I actually surprised myself that there was quite a few so I think my uh, 10 year old did a little weather unit a few years ago which was lucky so we've got quite a little stash of weather books. We've got Tornado Alert. These are a nice series. Let's read and find out. They do different stages. What will the weather be? Weather and Climate. I think this was second hand from the library. I've shared a couple of these before, the Thomas Locker books. I think they're lovely, really nice inspiration for art. But they also do have a little message in them. I think the water one does actually poetically tell you the water cycle. I thought they're really nice. And water dance is the water one. I just think they're beautiful. The drop in the ocean, the story of water, some sort of water cycle. This is a beautifully illustrated book with no words. <clears throat> However, there's a, the actual flood page is quite dramatic, so if you had an anxious child, it might not be very good. But it all ends happily in the end. Hurricane Watch. And this is a nice little story of a hurricane about um, a tree falling down in these boys' backyard and all the imaginative games they play with it uh, after a hurricane knocks it down. A nice picture book. Oh, and the weather game. A very vintage game. I got it on eBay a couple of years ago. But very educational. Show you the gist of it. It's got the weather game, weather centre, with, uh, with the pressure and the wind speed and the temperature. And it's got a big board that goes together like a puzzle of Britain. Like this. And you use the weather cards to travel. You're trying to travel to a destination. I think the weather, quite uh, true to British life, the weather um, gets in the way sometimes. If the, you have to get to the right destination with the right, I think it's something like, it's a while since we played it, it's like the right air pressure and the right temperature. It's like that to win. So there we go. Uh, look inside uh, this month's nature study uh, that we're going to use for September. Uh, there is another channel, I can't think what the life of me, what it's called, I'll try and put a link or the name in the description box, who um, does really lovely detailed flip throughs, she's done some of the previous months, you can see the beautiful artwork I think was really obvious in the pond study which was uh, last month's and she does a full flip through and everything, you can see how beautiful the graphics are, I don't think the weather one quite does it justice. Um, but do go and have a look at her channel as she does a much better job of it than me. But there we go. 
um, I'll try and share some future ones that come along as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.